Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books to see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. <sighs> Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Feds get those books, our whole operation's at risk. Tommy. Tough day today, Tom. You gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff. But don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. The old ways work. You gotta get those books back before the feds use them against us. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. 
They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Everything okay, Tom? No. No, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Council of Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No, no he didn't. Tom, what's going on? between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around. Too. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hodge prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion, and you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the Gold Series, which at one stage had appeared doomed, but they equally teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. 
Bunny Smith then standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion, doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. What Gotta a strapping captain, 6'2", 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. In for the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. Pass ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say Doherty was a little spooked. He was convinced he had it. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure. Not a flicker of emotion on his face. He winds up. And that's two. There was Sip on that one. Good Lord. Seidel is barking something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. Doherty's gesturing, and that's only making Seidel more irate. This is it, folks. Another strike, and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get behind ah, it, surely shit. the cannons will get all their They're men you to the airport, Frank. victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners! Lancers win! Lancers win! And Smith finally cracks an elated smile. He's thrown his cat in the air, as have his teammates. Lancers win the 1933 Gold Series! With music programming and up-to-the-minute news, this is WLH, Lost Heaven Radio. available down here at Behringer's department store. You've made the right choice. This is Behringer's Radio. They're flying in a state or something. Fuck, this ain't good.